Welcome to our Design for High Availability and Elasticity on AWS course. My name is Vince Blois, and I'll be taking you through this course. A little background on me. I have been building cloud native applications in corporate environments for several years now, and I also have several years experience teaching developers AWS best practices. I'm an AWS certified architect and AWS certified developer. Okay, let's talk about the course and go through an overview of what you're going to learn. So here is a timeline of what we'll learn. First, we'll go into an introduction of the course, where we'll learn how to build highly available, secure, and resilient cloud native applications. We'll go into the first aspects of that subject. Next, we'll go into our compute infrastructure, where we'll build VPCs across multiple availability zones using auto scaling, load balancing, and security groups. Next, we'll talk about regional application deployment and serverless infrastructures. We'll make use of multi-AZ and regional deployment techniques, and we'll build serverless applications using ECS and Lambda. Next, we'll go into our database part of the course, where we'll incorporate key value databases, RDS databases, and purpose-built databases, such as QLDB and graph databases. And then finally, we'll finish out the course with an optional module on machine learning for AWS infrastructure, where we'll talk about how to use machine learning to augment the management of your security and availability within your infrastructure. To get the most out of this course, you should meet these course prerequisites. You should have a basic understanding of cloud computing, and you should understand the fundamentals of AWS cloud services, such as EC2, VPC, and subnets, and you should have intermediate Python development skills. So what will you get out of this course? The hope is you'll finish this course feeling like you have achieved AWS cloud native expertise. And how will you do that? Well, you're going to build cloud native applications and infrastructure using the latest AWS services that move you up the development stack. And what do I mean by moving up the development stack? Well, we're going to learn how to remove the non-value added coding work that you currently do in your job, because we're going to build your infrastructure using your Python, TypeScript, or Java coding skills using the AWS Cloud Development Kit, or the CDK. So let's get started. 